Okay, uh, so this is another very quick, very off-the-cuff demo for Scorpion Engine. Uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to start on a very quick and simple port of the game, Biomenace. We're not actually going to do go too far with it. We're only just going to do the first one or two steps just to show how we can get started, how we can actually have um, something that we can see on Amiga and Mega Drive. Um, <clears throat> so fortunately, um, 3D Realms have all of the maps on the website, so uh, we're going to start by, let's save that, so I'm going to make a folder called uh, Biomenace, and a folder called Maps. And now I can open um, open Scorpion, and I want to do a new Scorpion project. So let's save it under Biomenus. Save this project. Um, if we go to Maps, we would normally create a map by uh, having a tile set image first and then creating a map. But we don't need to do that when the map already exists. We can just go generate map for PNG, and I'll go Maps and uh, City Center. Now this is going to take a little bit of time to import, uh, and the reason for that is is because it scans through every single pixel and it makes sure that every single tile is unique. It doesn't do any uh, double up tiles. So when we do this, it's going to sit there thinking for a little bit, and while it's doing that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to FragileMinds.com, who have the complete uh, sprite rip of the game. So I'll download that as well. Um, I'll just put that on the desktop. I don't actually want it in the game folder. Uh, then I'll open it. Um, so what we need to do is we need to rip. We won't extract every single graphic. We just want enough that the character can run and jump and stand around. So I'm going to grab. Oops, I need to turn off the grid. Okay, so we've got our idle pose, so let's um, create a folder called sprites and create a folder called, um, called snake because snake is the name of the character and we're going to call it snake idle. Uh, then we've got, we've got four running frames. And we just need to do that for these four, so a minute. And let's grab that last frame. All right, now uh, this is finished, so let's go into maps. Let's say this is map one. Uh, we've got a map there. Uh, I'm going to trim down the map so that it doesn't have. Um, uh, basically just so that it has this middle bit here so we don't want this bit down here uh, and we don't want where these red tiles um, so so from memory i believe it's 96 by uh, 47 and then i'm just going to go to the negative two so that should give me the the middle part yep Perfect. Um, the main reason why I didn't want the entire map is because 
So there's a lot of these junk tiles like this that take up space on the tile set. Um, and especially with that, that bottom part of the level, I found that it didn't quite fit within the Mega Drive uh, tile, switch, uh, tile set space. It probably would if we removed all the junk tiles. Uh, but since we don't really have time to do that, we're just going to use a smaller part of the level for this uh, demonstration. Um, so we've got a level. Uh, we can load it. So if we go level and then load level, and I just load level map one. Uh, let's check my settings here. Um, I only want 16 colors because this is an EGA game, so I put it to 16 color mode. And let's run it, see what happens. Okay, so we've got so levels up and running. Um, it doesn't look very good because we're not using the EGA palette. We're just sort of using Scorpion's default. So let's, if I go to our tile set and then I go edit tile set image, and let's just change it to if we go to crease colors. This will change it to an index palette. And let me just check how many colors we actually have here. Should only be 16. I'm not quite sure why it seems to have a duplicate there, but that's okay. Um, could be some of those junk tiles. But anyway, so let's um, let's save that as let's overwrite our palette file. And what that means is when we come back to this tab, we've got this palette here. Uh, yeah, there seem to be two copies of the color white for some reason. So I'm just going to take that there and so we've definitely only got uh you know these, these 16 colors if we run it again it should um should look a little nicer yep so that's um that's a lot more like it looked in the original dos game but, uh, we need to actually have a player running around the level uh, so i'm going to do a couple of things here one is so I'm going to select all of the tiles in the tile set. Um, for Mega Drive, I'm going to set the palette line to every corner to zero. So that makes sure that, uh, because this is a 16 color setup, it just ensures that all of the tiles are going to use this first set of 16 colors. So that's one thing. But the other thing is we need to uh, be able to, um, we need to be able to stand on solid ground. So uh, these tiles here and that one and these ones look like the solid solid ones, or at least some of the solid ones. I know there's a lot more of them, but I'm just going to select a small, just part of the level. We just want to be able to walk on the road. OK, so uh, we've updated the map. We don't actually have. Uh, any animations, which means we can't create a character. So let's uh, create some animations. So under sprites and snake, I'm going to call this snake idle R. Uh, the reason why I've called it R is so that with auto flip, it will create the left version automatically. Um, and I'm going to align it like that. I don't know if that's the correct alignment, but hopefully it will be good enough just for the purposes of this demo. Um, I'm going to have one called snake run R. And it's going to be just those frames there. Let's uh, see if we get them aligned. And let's run that animation. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. I'm not exactly sure that was um, how it's intended to look, but uh, again, that should be good enough for purpose. Um, should pick one of these frames to use as the jump. So I'm just going to make one called Snake Jump R. And then I am going to delete everything except for that one frame. So I think that, that will do for jump. Um, right, and of course we need to make an actor. So we've got our animations. Uh, so an actor is the actual object that we move around the game world. And let's call this snake. 
Uh, we need to set our movement type to, we'll use the classic platform control. Uh, we should set up our collision box. Something like that will do. Um, so we want snake jump R, snake run R. Um, I'll use the I'll use reuse the jump animation for when we're falling as well. Uh, that's looking pretty good. Um, I'm just gonna make some guesstimates here for I don't know, speed of two, jump speed of five. Um, I need to set some gravity, so let's go for. 0.25. That gives us a jump height of 50 pixels. I'm not sure how accurate that is, but that's something that we could tweak as we went. Um, let's go back to our map, because we actually need to add our actor into the map. Um, so this tile set, it actually has you know, icons there that we would want to get rid of if we were making a serious port. Um, but we can just use that to align our um, you know, our player character, so I'll put that there. Uh, that's done, and I'll give that a real quick run on Amiga, and then I might give it a real quick run on Mega Drive, and then hopefully that's, um, that's that. Yep, so on Amiga at least, that's looking pretty good. That, um, that definitely reminds me of the original game. Uh, let's switch over to Mega Drive and we'll just make sure that um, that it's also working. Yep, that's um, yeah, yeah, that's looking uh, pretty good. Uh, there is one slight bug with the Mega Drive one, which we would need to fix. So you see that there's no outline here. Uh, whereas there is, in fact, an outline on the original character. And that's because the outline is index zero. So the outline is black, which means that we can't actually use that color on a sprite because that uh, you know, index zero on a sprite is transparent. Uh, that's not a problem in Amiga. It is a problem on Mega Drive. So if we were doing this port for real, we would want to redo this palette so that we've got a, um, we've got a different color for the outline. but that gives us um, that gives us a starting point for a hypothetical port of this game. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, if you would like to um, uh, help support the Scorpion Engine, there's a few things you could do. You could subscribe. You could like this video. You could share this video. Uh, you could also support me on the Patreon, which I will post a link to in the video description. Okay, thank you so much.